evolve your body. Evolutionary.org Hey everyone, Dylan Jamelli here again today with a, another video for you on my steroid profile series. And uh, I know I've spoken a lot about Anavar, but uh, I want to kind of give you just a little bit of a profile on it so we can kind of get, you know, just the basic information on it and so you completely understand it because I kind of go in depth on other aspects of Anavar in my other videos and I, I've never really just sat down and just talked about it. Basically, Anavar is kind of thought of as just a mild steroid, so it's uh, a, a lot more popular amongst men and women, uh, both. And in fact, it is mild in comparison to something, you know, a little, a lot more toxic like Halo testing or or uh, D ball or or Winstrol. So yeah, it is more mild compared to those, but it still is a methylated oral steroid which means that you need to protect yourself at all times because it is very toxic to your liver and it can have a negative effect on your blood pressure, your lipids, your cholesterol, your kidneys, etc., etc. All your organs, everything needs to be protected. Anavar is, is very, very popular uh, and, and used mostly in cutting cycles. Um, you know, it can be used in any way. You can kickstart a cycle with it, but it's a lot more popular to finish off a cycle because it, it, it helps to, it, it will shed belly fat, but don't kid yourself, it is not a fat burner. I'm not even gonna get into that because I've gotten into it several times. No steroids are fat burners, but it will shed some belly fat and it's great at polishing up and cleaning up gain, gains. Uh, it does not convert to estrogen, so there should not be any worry of any type of gyno issues or high estrogen from it. So that's something that is, you know, very, very nice. Um, it, it could possibly, it's highly, highly doubtful because it's not a super strong DHT, but it, it can convert to DHT. So hair loss is something that you need to consider. It's very unlikely, but I'm not gonna say it's impossible because it definitely is possible. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, and you know, Anavar surprisingly, one thing about it is it, it will give you a lot of strength. Trust me, it will give you a lot of strength, and you will notice the strength increase fairly quickly off of it. Um, and you're going to notice that you're going to, like I, as I said earlier, you're going to drop some belly fat and and any other fat as long as your diet and training are on point. Now, I don't care what you do. There's no such magic pill or magic anything out there. You need to be completely you know, focused on your, your, your training and your diet. But Anavar, um, definitely with the, the, the strength increase and also with the, the cutting is very, very popular. It's really popular with females. I, I know a lot of female bodybuilders, competitors that, that definitely use Anavar. Now, of course, they use it at a lower dose and the whole procedure is different. Dosing wise, generally, is you know a good dose of Anavar is about 60 milligrams a day for a male. For a female, it's about 10, 10 milligrams a day. Um, some females I've seen go up to 20 and 30, and some males I've take up to 100. I wouldn't recommend going to 100. Um, that's up to you. I, I don't think that that's a very safe dose at all. I think 60 and 80 tops. But once again, my opinion only. You know, I'm I'm that's where I'm at with it. I don't think it's good to be that toxic and I don't think there's any, you know, more positives going up to 100 as opposed to 80. So uh, what you are going to see if you go up to 100 is a lot more toxicity, a lot more shutdown, which Anavar can and will, trust me, Anavar will shut you down. So um, the two things, you know, you would want to run N2 guard to fully protect yourself from the toxicity and a nice HC generate on cycle and then an HCG blast right before PCT to, to make sure that you're not too shut down going into PCT. Uh, you never want to be too shut down going into PCT because that is just, it just makes re recovery harder. It makes it harder to keep your gains. And trust me, 
You, there, there's a lot of confusion out there of people that think you don't need a PCT with Anavar. You need a full PCT with Anavar. Anavar is not, it, it's not a joke. It's, it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a methylated steroid. So always remember that. I don't care what anybody tells you. You need a PCT with Anavar. This is simple fact. Any steroids you run, you're going to need a PCT with. Some just shut you down worse than others. But trust me when I tell you, if you don't run one, you're going to be very, very sorry. And you could cause some long-term damage that you're not going to be very happy about. So anyway, Anavar, like I said. Excellent for cutting, a lot of strength increase, is more mild than others, which is nice, uh, but still needs to be something that you take very seriously. One more thing, at like, and with any oral methylated steroid, the pumps that you can get, and when I say pumps, it's like painful pumps, like maybe in your back or your shins. You know, a good thing to combat that is to hit the taurine. Uh, taurine will help to combat the pumps. It might not eliminate them fully, but definitely will help combat so, um, Anavar's great though. Anavar's great to finish cycles off with. If you really want to polish your gains, Anavar's awesome. It really truly is. If you want to cut down a little bit of belly fat, Anavar's awesome. Uh, awesome at cutting up, shredding up. So, but like I said before, it is not a fat burner. Don't use, don't come in with a 25, 30% body fat and think you're going to drop 20, 30 pounds and drop body that, That's not what it's used for. Okay. Don't, don't even attempt to do that because all you're going to do is hurt yourself. I guarantee it. And that is a fact. So um, that being said, that's Anavar for you. Uh, very, very nice and popular steroids. So um, next up will probably be a video on trend. So be looking out for that, my friends. And hopefully this was informative to you and, and answered some questions that you may have had. Jamelli at needtobuildmuscle.com. Anytime, send me an email. I'm happy to help. Um, so that being said, Dylan Jamelli, signing off. Evolve your body. Evolutionary.org.